Hey, yo, yo, yo. What up, guys, and welcome back to another one. And today we are doing some big Canada goose action today. No ducks at this field, hardly any cacklers or lessers in this field, all big geese. My buddy Jackson uh, found it last night and got permission on it. It is a cut milo field and it has tall stubble in it. So today we're running the first Kansas layout blind hunt and it should be all full bodies today. So since they're all darks, all bigs, we're going to run them dark full bodies on them, make it look as real as possible, get in the lay down blinds and we going to smack them. But I do want to let you guys know we are still giving away the Excel bow with the Mud Buddy motor. If you guys didn't know that, well now you know. If you did, well, here's a reminder. If you haven't signed up for the t-shirt of the month, the Ducks shirt of the month, it's how you enter to win this thing. So I will link it in the description below. Basically, you sign up for the Ducks t-shirt of the month, and then it keeps you signed up every month, and you get a one-off custom-designed Ducks shirt. These shirts will not be on the website available for anybody else. So that's how it works. But I am excited today. It is 5.19 in the morning. I woke up at about 4.40. Had to load the trailer, had to put blinds in there, had to hook up to the trailer. So we're getting on the road here. No more talking. We are on the road. I can't say that. So. Well, let's go. I about forgot, about forgot to uh, fill up with gas. 54 bucks, what is gas right now? $1.95, $1.95, how awesome is that? 54 bucks to fill the old tank. That's where it's at, boys. But I've been doing this lately. I go to the Pit Quick or the Quick Shop and I get my snacks of the day. What do we have on the menu for today? So today on the road, I'm gonna be eating them chocolate brownie cookies them grandmas. Then for the blind later, I got me a honey bun. You cannot beat you a honey bun. I always have my spicy chips. I got jalapeno chips in that blind bag too. Something about hot food at about 8.30, 9 o'clock just snaps you right awake. I'm telling you. You guys seem to like the uh, blind snacks of me showing you what I get in the morning. As unhealthy as it is, I do admit that I am not the healthiest eater on this planet. Well, we are in the field. Like I said, this is cut Milo and it is tall stuff. None of it's laid down at all. What's up there, partner? What up? Oh, well, oh, let me get that light out of your eyes there. Well, we got the spread set up here. Uh, I don't know, what time is it, Bradley? 6.30, 6.45? Yeah. Probably 6.45, the sun's just starting to peak behind me, as you can see. Uh, we did a full body spread today. These are big birds, so they're gonna be smart. And uh, the calling, we're gonna keep it kinda to a minimum. We're gonna cluck hard, get their attention, shut off on the calling, let them work to some uh, real mild clucks and moans. So, I will show you the spread after we get these trucks out of the field. <coughs> you land? Nice. Well, first bird down. Storm. Uh, first bird down there, man. They, he loved it, went feet down, right beside the blind, all the way to the left, barely got the camera on. Oh man, wanna shoot him? Yeah! Nice. Got some whites down. Those are some adult big old whites too. Man, those two came cruising in hard. Did anybody get a shot at those? What did we drop? Two or three? Nice. Oh, get loaded up, load up, boys, load up. That was awesome. Snows. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Snows here, here, here. with a full body dark spread, baby. Up. That's what's up. Here. That turned them. There we go. Get ready on these snows. Kill them, kill them, kill them, kill them, kill them. Well, two, two fell. Snows again. That's, that's all we're killing are snows. 
Snow's over it. What? Why is that? The snows are giving it up, but the darks won't. Well, those gave it up decent. They're staying to the left here when they're decoying. They're staying. They're not getting lower than 10, 15 yards, and they're staying to the left of us. So, yeah. us guys near the right, middle to the right, it's a hard shot. So here. we down three, yep. uh, yep. which isn't bad. Get but on. it seems like we're getting a lot of birds from the west now, what? and they're starting to give it up a little better. Here, gr this group looks really interested. Let's go, boys. <laughs> Shoot him, boys. Shoot him. There we go. Go down, boy. There's one going down. How didn't we drop more than that? What? You want to shoot the three? What? 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 Ah, I couldn't get those two. You dropped that one. What'd you guys drop over here? What'd we kill? Over there. You shot one over there? One went down over here. Channel. Man. Channel. I don't know what it is, but these birds, I don't is it they're they're decoying weird, man. I mean those three did it de decent, but goodness gracious. Let me show you the spread here and tell you what the heck's going on. So this is the right side. We got everything really loose. Here's a kill hole. Here's the layout blinds where we're sitting. Earlier, the first couple groups wanted to come in here and land to the left. So it gave the left shooters a decent shot, but on the right side, you didn't have anything. Had no shot Over. if you were on the middle to the right. Those birds did the exact opposite thing. The three peeled off and they went to the right. The left side didn't have a shot, Over. the right side did. So these birds are, they're, they're weary. They have a lot of pressure here. Uh, where I'm from, there's just a bunch of pressure. They've seen so many dang, dang decoys that you don't know what to expect. So we're going to switch up the decoy spread just a bit and uh, see if it helps here. It's getting late. It's like 945. <laughs> nice shot. Yeah, he landed out there, then he got up and flew over us. Might as well. Those, you never know what they're, that was a good call. Might as well shoot what you can get, boys. Well, that is going to be about it. Uh, the boys are already picking up the spread. I'm here getting in the truck. And uh, I can tell you, it's weird. It's weird to think about the uh, the snows. Those adult snows doing it so well. Getting down. They were shootable. We killed like four or five of them. Uh, we probably killed four or five uh, Canada's too. But I'm telling you what, the big flocks of Canada's, they would not get down. We had one decent group do it. Where three came way up front and the rest of the group stayed back. Uh, and I'm sorry I could not run this big camera today. There was no way. Um, I'm in a Power Hunter layout blind. It's one that you have to flip up. And it's ones that I've always used for years and years and years. But with that GoPro on and this big camera, I cannot film out of it. So I'm going to have to buy me a double door, uh, a side door open deal because uh, that Power Hunter doesn't work. We found that we've had to start using lay down blinds again this season. Have to uh, get out of the decoys. Stop putting out so many white decoys. Get up, get out, get out. Because the birds are still here. They've been here a while. We had early, 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 early big pushes of birds like a lot of you in the Midwest have experienced. And the reason was was because we had such cold weather so soon. So these birds have been hanging out in our area way too long and they are tough. Sometimes you think it's just going to work out better and you know we shot a little little pile of birds but these birds had been here for a full week every single day and night. That's how comfy they were here and they still were that tough. So like I always say decoys are not real birds. Calling is not real birds so if I can say anything is during these stale times when you haven't had a push in a while if you can small if if you can shoot decent little groups of birds like this decent little piles you're doing something right still well back at home here and as you can tell the video the action the hunting was not very long for two reasons obviously we didn't shoot a bunch and the second reason being having that GoPro on my head in that Power Hunter layout blind. Now, 
we have not upgraded our layout blind system y'all so that's this is something that I just did I just bought me a new uh, ground blind uh, that power hunter for having a camera on your head is horrible the lid it's a lid system instead of a double door system so the double door systems are great like this one this one I just bought bought a finisher and double door system it'll be great because I can film out of it and see what I'm doing the power hunter is just a lid so that being said, I'm sorry that the footage wasn't a lot better on this hunt, but what I'm going to make an avid routine is on these, especially on the smaller hunts, even on the bigger hunts, we're going to come home and we're going to talk about what worked and what didn't work. I really try to do it all the time, but I'm, I'm going to make it a thing now. Be expected at the end of videos for us to come home or wherever we're at and actually chat about what happened. So on this hunt, stale birds. This was about a week ago. Stale birds, warm conditions. Now we're having cold fronts and a lot of rain that just rolled through, as you all probably had too. The snows just liked the full bodies. Uh, a lot of birds that were coming from the north seen the back side of the decoys. They really liked it because if the sun wasn't blowing them out, the decoys that is, on the south side. I know it's weird to say that and it's weird to think about, but really that's what I think happened. A lot of north birds that were coming from behind us really liked it they spun around and did it close those were the little the little groups of uh, darks and then the two groups of snows i think they had a big deal with it sun was a factor it was uh there wasn't a cloud in the sky for one thing and i believe for those conditions if there would have been a lot of wind it would have been better uh but we were squared up our lay down blinds were sitting right in the goalie right down the goalie right where they would be looking and we were blinded up well but the sun really probably blew us out just blew us out blew us to smithereens so when they're coming from the back i think they really ate it up but coming from the front i think that we were probably blown out pretty bad but that's just something that you always take into consideration you learn something every hunt whether it works or whether it doesn't and if some things work or some things don't just like this hunt we killed like 10 total uh it was a, a decent little hunt but some things worked and some things just didn't so one thing to take i would say if you can lay off to the side if you're going to lay in them decoys either in a lay down blind or in a white painter suit or something like that I would say number one thing to take away from this hunt is just do not lay down the goalie right behind the kill hole to where the wind's going to square them up and they're going to be looking right at you. If you can lay to a side, it's probably going to work a lot better. Just don't lay right in their point of view pretty much. That's what I'm getting at. Oh, but I have a big old announcement, a huge surprise for you guys, and it was a huge surprise to myself. But on tomorrow's video, Foul Friday... Yes, there's going to be a Foul Friday tomorrow, so be expecting it. I have a big announcement and something to show you all that I'm really excited about. So don't miss that tomorrow. And like I said at the beginning of the video, we're still doing the Excel Boat Mud Buddy Motor giveaway. And I believe we're doing that drawing in April, I believe, end of February. But if you want to sign up to win that boat, I will link it in the description below. It's the Ducks T-shirt of the month. You'll get a t-shirt once a month that is just for the Ducks t-shirt of the month members. And that signs you up to win the boat. But if you haven't checked out what we got over at Ducks Waterfowl, I'll link all the Ducks hats and hoodies down in the description below as well. Thank you all for being here. I appreciate it so much from the bottom of my heart. Without y'all, I couldn't do this. And I love doing this. I love it. I love it. I love it. I hope y'all had a Merry Christmas. And I hope y'all's New Year's are looking special and bright. Be getting some plans made. Have some fun. But we will see you on the next one. Subscribe if you haven't. Peace.